So please join me in welcoming to the stage Ryan Keelty. I came to Chesterton Academy, not because it was profound or truthful, not because of what I had heard about it, not because they will convey to you the one true faith, which is our only perfect goal, but because it was affordable. This is one of the greatest attributes of the academy, and actually a paradox in itself, that one of the finest formal learning centers in the world should be so financially achievable. Now, I would like to start with something that was originally taught by Mother Teresa, but I learned about it in one of the homilies given by the legendary Father Joseph Johnson. He told me that the four Gospels could be summarized on one hand. You did it to me. The fundamental message of the Gospels is stated by Jesus, who says to his followers, whatever you do to the least of these, you did it to me. Now keep this in mind, because I'll bring it up later to see if you fell asleep by then. Now let me tell you something about myself. I am a choleric melancholic. <laughs> what does this mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that God gave me the two most vulnerable temperaments of all time. Logically speaking, I am predisposed with a wide range of moods and a tendency particularly towards stress, negativity, and more stress and more negativity. <laughs> In my particular case, I enjoy attention and I do not like going unnoticed. I suppose you can imagine how good it feels to be up here. <laughs> but here's the point. Before I came to Chesterton Academy, I was unnoticed. Just another person in the crowd. Now, I cannot point fingers at anyone in particular, precisely because there was nobody to point at. If I did get any attention, it would usually and most often be someone pointing out my exceedingly pale complexion. <laughs> and how, since I was what you would call an indoorsman, My physical appearance adapted to be a bit lighter than usual. But besides that, not much attention. Therefore, I naturally and gradually ceased to make effort to be seen for who I really am. In my lowest times, I invented a certain personal deprivation, which I like to call a skill. <clears throat> I named it social invisibility. I like to think of it as the ability to blend into the social environment, but frankly, it was just an acceptance of my own disability to communicate with others. I'm telling you this because I know how it is to be alone in a world 
full of people. But then something happened. At Chesterton Academy, I made friends. And those friends made me who I am now. I received that wonderful attention I had waited all my life for. And I have flourished in my personality, grown more confident in myself, and gained virtue and strength by the example of the faculty and the students. Now, at one point in my career here, I overheard that someone had referred to me as the nicest and whitest kid in the school. <laughs> Flattering and humiliating. <laughs> but now, I was able to joke about myself because it, for once, was not the only thing people thought of regarding me. I enjoy joking about my appearance now because I have learned that opportunity for humility is opportunity for virtue. My friends gave me this virtue. They did it to me. <laughs> and now, I could finally move on. I could learn the art of thinking, which is what this school teaches so well. When you learn how to think, you desire, just as G.K. Chesterton did, to think about everything. To start putting it all together instead of taking it all apart. The integrated curriculum at Chesterton Academy is the lens through which we create. Because as Chesterton says, to doubt is only to destroy. But to think, to think is to create. Now there's not just thinking, there's doing. I have learned how to paint a picture, how to act in a dramatic performance, how to give a speech, I think. <laughs> but what is it then that causes and directs every good thing at Chesterton Academy? Well, I have the answer. It is God. God conducted the creation of this place. God directed the mode at which to guide the students to guide others. And God directed the very existence of the East Campus that we have here today. How do I know this? Because it is all good. As Chesterton so profoundly put, to see good is to see God. Now, I would like to give my thanks, which is my highest form of thought. I would like to thank the teachers and the faculty at Chesterton Academy for all the timeless truths you gave me and all the tremendous trifles that you solved for me. You taught it to me. <laughs> but who can I thank for maintaining that charitable, joyful atmosphere, for constantly seeing the good in me and teaching me to see the good in others and to reach out to them just as I was reached toward. For this, I must thank my class, the class of 2018. When I was sad and alone, you made me the happiest, strongest man I have ever been. And I am no longer bound to my vulnerability as I used to be. You did it to me. This is truly an unpayable debt. And it will be my pleasure, as someone who was once deprived of this joy, to finish my career surrounded by the best friends that I have ever had. I am no longer teaching myself to disappear, but to up here. <laughs> and let me tell you that making friends and escaping the terrible danger of mere comradeship has made every research paper, every seek et known worth it. <laughs> 
Finally, and I think most importantly, I would like to thank the donors who made this school affordable, who helped with scholarships, who made sacrifices so that students like me could attend this marvelous school. Because I have to tell you that Chesterton Academy is truly a wonderful place. Why? Because you did it to me. Thank you.